Playing with Legos is fun, but playing the Lego piano is even better. Today we're taking a look at the LEGO Ideas Grand Piano Set. As soon as this set was announced, I knew I had to have it. I'm a big LEGO fan, and I knew it would look good on my bookshelf. The Grand Piano is number 31 in the LEGO Ideas series, which means it was created from a design submitted by a LEGO builder and voted on by other LEGO fans. We're not going to call this an unboxing because I already opened up the box and took out the manual so I could see what was in store for us. As usual, we've got some nice information about Grand Pianos. Now here's some info on the designer of the Grand Piano. His name is Donnie Chen. There's a nice Q&A with him, some biographical info, and some information from the LEGO team about what it took to bring this set to life. There are a lot of reasons why I'm excited to put this set together. First of all, it's a modular design that shows off the inner workings of a piano, though it only has 25 keys instead of the normal 88. Also, I haven't put together a set with a motor in it for quite a while, so I'm excited to do that. But perhaps the part I'm most excited about is actually being able to play music by pairing your phone with the piano. I don't know exactly how that works yet, but from what I understand, it works sort of like a player piano, where the keys will move along with the song that's playing from the phone, but we'll figure that out when we get this thing built. So let's put this aside for a second, and now I think it's time to open up this box. got a bunch of bags of parts over here, and a box with even more parts inside. Let's take a look at that. Ah, uh, what the heck. Let's just get this all out here. There it is. And uh -huh. There's bag number one. That's where we need to get started. I'm going to organize these bags first so they're easier to get to later on. All right, that's better. I've got everything straightened out, bags lined up in order, and I can just pull them out when the time comes. Like I said before, this manual is massive, over 500 pages, but there's no better place to start than the beginning. And here we go with number one. Just kidding, let's speed this up. anything with a motor in quite some time so this is very new to me but it looks like that pops on here install that into the motor seat that right there now the battery holder and power switch and slide this on right here Plug this cable. Looks like a little Ethernet cable. Maybe it is. And then we've got one more sensor of some kind, I guess. And we'll install this one over here and plug this into B. Just reaches. On to step three.
up gold pieces on here. And this thing is really starting to look like a piano. We're 172 pages in, 229 steps, and about a quarter of the way through the process. Obviously, there's still a lot to do, but I can see it coming together. bar in place and now we're going to put these two big pieces together somehow come on you can do it oh, there we go there it goes all right look at that now we're talking piano getting heavy. Here's another big step. Got all the strings on here. And now we're going to lay this down. Attach it here. And then line them all up down here. This looks pretty darn slick, if you ask me. I feel like we should be almost done, but I still got a lot of pieces left. Okay, moving on. getting somewhere now we got the legs on we got the damper pedals on if I press down on here you can see those hammers going up and down we've got the side door with the access to the controller and we've got all the strings laid out this is looking pretty darn nice at this stage, I've gone through the bags labeled one through 10. They go up to 21, so we're about halfway through. Looking ahead in the instructions, I see that the next thing is to work on the keyboard, which means we're gonna fill in this area right here and see how all the mechanism works together. So let's do that right now.
Boy, those were a lot of keys to put together. But now we're at a crucial stage. We're going to slide the keyboard into the body of the piano. Let's see how this goes. Get in there. And now we have this part, which slides around the front of the keys themselves. That looks good. We're going to set it up here so we can put in these parts that lock it in place. So a hole in the bottom. And just pop that in. And one over here. And look at that. We've got some piano key action in here. I think this thing looks awesome, but we better put a cover over the top of it. I think I have a lot of black pieces in my future. Here is the lid with this cool, special Lego embossed piece. I'm going to line these up with the little posts that are in here. Oh, there, that was easy enough. And now look at that. Beautiful. for the piano with a nice sturdy hinge. So the only thing left to do is put this thing together. There we go. Ta-da! All right, not too shabby. Let's take a look around. Lift the cover up and it's got a stand to hold it up here. We can lift up the music stand. Oh, that came loose. There we go. Can you rest your music on there. Open it up to get to the keys. It looks like we're all finished, but I still have two bags left. That's because you can't play piano without something to sit on. Let's put the bench together real quick. And here it is. Here's the piano bench, ready for the player and some cute little cheat music. Before I get into this, let me clean up some of this mess back here. Hold on. Okay, that's better. Now let me give you a little tour around the piano that we've got here. First of all, there's this lid which opens up to reveal the music stand, but also you can fold open the whole top. Prop that up. And now you've got a nice view inside. Fold up the music stand. Put your sheet music on here. And the part we've been waiting for. There are the keys. And even the little piano bench is adjustable sure that whoever's playing this piano is sitting at the right height. 
this music stand is actually removable so you can get a better view of what's going on inside of there. The keyboard itself can also be removed by pulling out these pins on the bottom and sliding it out. As you can see inside, we've got all the different strings that correspond to each of the 25 working keys on the keyboard. You can see up on the top here, there are the foot pedals on the bottom, and if I press this one, it raises and lowers the dampers on the strings. And underneath the strings, you can see the different hammers that move up and down when you press down the keys. Now, as beautiful as this set is, the most interesting thing about it to me is the fact you can actually play music by connecting it to your phone. Let's do that right now. The first thing to do is download the free Lego Powered Up app. It's available for iOS and Android. Open up the app, confirm it's okay to use Bluetooth, and select the piano from the list of sets that use the app. Next, we're gonna open up the side of the piano, reach in here, and turn on the power. And then you'll see on the phone that it's connected to Bluetooth. And now you have a choice of listening to songs or playing them yourself. First, let's try listening to a song. The first one is Play Day, which was composed by the designer of the piano, Donnie Chen. You can even prop your phone up on top of the piano so the sheet music's in the right place. As you can see, it's not really playing the right notes on the keyboard, but it's kind of like a cool music box or even a player piano. And I'm really just impressed with the way that the mechanism all works. There are actually 10 different songs you can listen to in this fashion. So if that's not interactive enough for you, there's also the play function, where you can actually play the song yourself. Let's try Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Not too bad, right? Actually, it doesn't matter what key you press, the song plays regardless. There's an IR sensor that can see when a key is being pressed at all, and then it plays the next note on the phone but it's still a pretty fun effect. So there you have it. This is the Lego Ideas Grand Piano Set. This is probably the coolest set I've ever built, except for maybe the Saturn Rocket that I have up on my shelf. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and let us know if you'd like to see more Lego builds. I know I'd be up for it. But that's it for me today. Let's go out on a song.